Hello, this is the first video, or maybe the part one of a video footage or video clip to show how uh, an Android device is handling GPS navigation, in this case turn-by-turn, voice-guided offline GPS programs like uh, iGo, Motonev or Sajic or Navigon. In this first part I'm going to use a external uh, Bluetooth receiver and that's why I'm telling that uh, it could, uh, this method could be used for, uh, with any Android device, even ones without a internal GPS receiver. In this case I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S running Froyo GPH firmware. This is the this is my external GPS receiver, the Nokia LDW3 with a Shift Star 3 chipset. I'm going to turn it on. It's turned on. Uh, I'm going to have a I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. First I want to show that uh, I am just the the GPS is the GPS is disabled. I also have I'm not online. Uh, I'm using just GSM connection. Those no DG, I don't even have access point names configured when you're using uh, you're going to need the software but you also have to uh, allow mock locations when you want to use an uh, external Bluetooth receiver oh, this is the LDS test mode this is not relevant at, at this moment Wireless networks are also disabled, and the internal GPS receiver is also disabled. So, what you need to do, you have to open this software, this application. Bluetooth GPS mouse unlimited is asking permission to turn on Bluetooth. So now Bluetooth is turned on. Turned on. Going to start service. And he's going to connect. Now going to connect to my Bluetooth device. And he's already viewing 12 satellites. Doesn't have a lot yet. Now he has and the three lamps are going to be on, so it has a lock. He's now have a lock with four satellites. So it took already 45 seconds. Now it can go now back and open open it. Oh, let's make a destination. Let's make a short trip. No, let's go find places. Select and go. Route two. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. And go. Now we can start.
prepared to turn left after 240 meters. short trip is going to take around five minutes from this moment on if you want you can fast forward your clip take the second left take the next left Again, this is uh, offline navigation. Prepare to turn right after 580 meters. Uh, not tested. This method is not tested. I didn't test it with uh, Google Maps because I don't use uh, Google Maps. I prefer this kind of uh, navigation programs for all kinds of reasons. Furthermore, Google Maps is not working properly in many regions, in many countries. And prepare to turn right after 300 meters. And I use the GPS a lot also abroad, so I'm not going to be online abroad with all those uh, roaming costs. Therefore, I always rely on this kind of programs. Take the next right. test this method uh, with other programs like uh, Navigon, Psygic, Mobile Maps 10. Prepare to turn right out at 600 meters. And uh, Copilot and uh, M Drive. Uh, and when I was using the Nokia 5800XM, I uh, did run a uh, Garmin. I mean, uh, Prepared to mobile turn right state. after 300 meters. And uh, as far as I know, there are uh, there are no tom tom or uh, take the next right. Or Garmin software navigation for Android 
uh, yet. After 140 meters, bear right. Then take the next right. Bear right. Then take the next right. Well, I'm not going to take the next right because I'm going to take park the around. next right. Then take the second sharp left. I'm going to just park over here. So and to take some uh, conclusions, I just have to stop somewhere. Recalculating route. Take the next left. Then take the next left. Parking place available. Take the next left. Then take the next right. Recalculating route. Take the next right. Okay. Then take the next right. Okay, found a parking place. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the software. Uh, no. Uh, no. My, my route. Cancel route. Now I can exit. Yes. Now I'm going to zoom in for a minute. Uh, okay. Now have, let's have a look on the this mount. He is now viewing 11 satellites, and he's locked to 10. There. Are I did have with this uh, with this with this device, depending on the hour of the day and the conditions, weather conditions, and etc. You can view up to 18 satellites. It happened once, and it was locked to 14. And once again, I have everything disabled here. I have uh, no assist at all, no GPS, which I, I never use just this just the external gps receiver end of part one